Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Welcome to a new vlog. It is Friday. If you guys are new here, definitely hit that subscribe button. I have a new goal for the year, so I want to get to like 30k subscribers by June. I feel like we can make it happen, so if you guys are watching this, hit that subscribe button. And if you are already subscribed, definitely make sure that your post notifications are on so you can get notified for every video I post. Today, we are doing kind of a different video. I've been wanting to go out in public and take my own photos for so long, and I feel like today, is the freaking day that I just do it and just fake it till I make it. That's what I always say. If you guys didn't know, I do live in Austin, Texas and I am a freelance photographer on the side. So I've shot at this one parking garage downtown. It's near that rainbow mural that like goes all the way up. And I've shot there before. It has a really cool city background. I feel like that is the new trend to take your photos, your Instagram photos at a parking garage. And it's so funny because I used to do that all the time in college with my best friend, Laura, which was also my roommate. We would just get like dressed or if we were gonna go somewhere we would just you know run up to the parking garage and take our photos and it's just a really great place because one it's neutral two there's not that many people like staring at you sometimes a car will drive past and you know that's kind of awkward but you kind of have to get over it and that is when my motto comes in fake it till you make it you just kind of have to like fake your confidence it is going to be a little nerve-wracking going alone to a parking garage because I do not do well just being alone in general. And that is like a big reason why I wanna push myself to do this because I feel like I just need to get out of that rut, get out of my comfort zone and just like push myself. A major reason why I'm doing this is because I used to actually shoot with my friends. I would take their photos and they would take my photos. We'd do a little swap. We would bring like four outfits or a little less than that. And we would just like change in our cars, go to a different location, do it all again, which is great because we would shoot in like really busy areas and it wouldn't be as awkward as like setting up your tripod and taking your own photos. Right now, all my friends' schedules are just really busy and a lot of them, you know, work full time. I only work part time, so I work Monday through Thursday, seven to three. Basically, it's just really hard to schedule a time to shoot with my friends because the only time that they have now is on the weekends and that's the time I kind of just like want to spend with Ryan or like doing fun stuff and not really working but obviously sometimes I know I'm gonna have to resort to that because you know taking pictures of yourself is great but getting your photos taken is even better obviously if you have the chance I'm super thankful that I actually got three PR packages today well not today but like throughout this whole week and I've been saving them to style today so I have stuff from Princess Polly waif and shop red dress so i'm really excited to style all of them and just get this thing going if you guys don't already follow me on instagram go ahead and do so it's so underscore gnarly without the g and i will be releasing my presets super soon i just have to sit down and do it i have some presets on my site but honestly i don't really recommend them now because that was like the era of like really editing your photos and now it's like more of a bare filmy edit so i've created my own preset and i will get that out by the end of the month when you look at my instagram you can kind of tell that i have been making the switch to wearing more neutrals and just getting really quality pieces. Um, I also link everything on my like to know it page. So if you guys are wondering where anything's from, it's pretty much always on that page. Or you can just DM me and ask for the link. I am more than happy to help out. I'm gonna stop rambling so we can get this thing going. This is one of the outfits that I'm thinking of bringing. I've seen this little sweatshirt kind of tied on Instagram and I love the look of it. So I wanted to try it out. I recently went on Urban Outfitters and bought literally four jeans. These are the only ones that came in though um, so far but these are straight leg jeans I'm pretty sure all of them are straight leg jeans just like a little bit different different colors and different rips and everything I'm on the hunt for the best straight leg jeans so let me know if you guys have any recommendations I do have some from Abercrombie and I love them but I just honestly want more jeans because I feel like I wear the same ones every single day so pick these up I think I like them so I'm gonna take the tag off and not return them but we'll see about the other ones hopefully they all look really good this is currently my room it is a freaking disaster um, just kind of trying to pull some stuff to see what I can style I picked out like six or seven outfits I kind of want to even bring more because I feel like it's going to go fast because it's only going to be me. I'm finally going to do my makeup. It's like almost 2 p.m. I'm kind of getting hungry, so I might have to eat after this. Thank you. I just wet my beauty blender. It's almost three. I'm all ready. Hair done, makeup done, everything. I'm freezing, so I put on this jacket, and I'm a little worried that it's going to be even more cold in a parking garage because like the sun's not going to be beaming down. I mean, it will at the top, but I don't want to do like too much direct sunlight unless it's like sunset, which that's like in 
two hours or something like that. So I might just wait it out and go at four. I don't really have anything to do right now and I have everything ready. So I might go earlier, but I'll keep you guys updated. I honestly have butterflies. I'm a little nervous. I just, like I said, don't like being alone. I have everything packed and ready to go. So let's do it. <sighs> okay. Y'all, I literally have butterflies. I don't know if it's like a nervous pee feeling or if I'm just nervous that I'm gonna get kicked out. I've shot here before and I've literally done like photo sessions that, you know, obviously make me money. And some girl from the parking garage was like walking and like staring at me, but never said anything. So I feel like it's okay. And when I shot, there was like a billion people on the top part of the garage, just like filming content, which is kind of cool. Kind of hope that happens again, kind of not. Cause like, I don't know, I don't know. It would be nice if I was the only one here, but also it kind of feels like, ooh, we're all creatives and we're doing our creative thing. I'm like procrastinating getting out of my car, but let's do it, y'all. The worst thing about taking pictures and changing in your car is not being able to see your whole outfit. Should have brought like a small mirror or something, but this will have to do. Things are looking good. There's no one here but me, so. About to set my tripod up. I noticed that the light was hitting one side of my face, so I decided to switch the position of the tripod. I usually tend to shoot backlit because I find that this is easier for me to edit personally. Don't be discouraged if you feel a little awkward during your first round because it will happen. Just keep going and you'll loosen up, I promise. First round of photos and I'm feeling honestly empowered. Like that sounds stupid, <laughs> but it is empowering coming out here taking your own photos, not having to rely on anyone else, not having to ask anyone else, not having to pay anyone else. Like, I'm doing it. This is all me and I'm freaking hyped that I decided to do this. I also wanted to take this quick second to tell you guys about this amazing app that you need on your iPhone like yesterday, honestly, especially if you're into Instagram kind of windy out here <laughs> um but it is this app called lens buddy it's an app that pretty much takes your photos for you so you don't have to have a clicker you can just keep posing keep moving and it'll refocus for you every single time it is so cool i recently found out about it in the past two months and it literally has changed the game for me um so i highly recommend it you can set how many photos it takes of you every round and like how much it delays at first. It's very customizable and then after you take them, you can just like look through and then see if you need another round. So I highly recommend that you download the app again. It's called Lens Buddy. And now I'm gonna go for my second round. Let's do it. I recently heard that making a triangle with your body is a flattering pose. So that is what I'm trying to do with this flamingo pose right here. After every round, I adjust my tripod to get a different angle. And then the biggest tip I can give you is just to keep moving, keep taking pictures, and you'll be sure to find one that you like. I highly recommend giving yourself a limit of how many rounds you can do to make your shoot efficient and also not to be too critical of yourself because I feel like this vibe is not supposed to be too perfect. It's supposed to be like iPhone photos. It's supposed to be kind of like real. Yes, your pose, but also movement helps so much to create a candid photo. So that's why you see me going like this because I'm trying to get my hair to move. We're stepping forward when the picture is taking and just like moving my arms around a lot. Trust me guys, movement is key to not look stiff in your photos. And also just remember to turn your sound all the way up so you can hear the camera taking the pictures. Um, so then you can like go into your next pose. I just changed into the second outfit and I forgot a butterfly clip but guess what was in the back of my car there's one earring so I'm gonna try to use the earring because this top is a um, razor back so I don't want my bra to show I actually have a pop-up tent like a pop-up changing tent it's green it's huge it's really obnoxious so sometimes I just like don't love using it especially if I'm just like the only one taking photos I can just like push this front seat up a lot and then just change in the back of my car but I will link that green pop-up tent down below in case you guys are interested you ever see trends on Instagram and you're like how do they make it look so cute because Hmm, that earring just popped up. <laughs> Might be a claw clip outfit. For the next outfit, I took on the challenge of shooting in direct sunlight, and really it's the editing that is the main issue. It's just a little bit harder, especially if you wanna stay consistent with your skin tones on your feed. You might be able to tell I'm a little bit stiff because somebody came onto the rooftop, so 
I got a little embarrassed. <laughs> During that last round, a guy pulled up in his truck and just like parked. I can't really tell if he's like sitting there or not. I immediately got so awkward, but then I was just like, you know what? Gotta get these photos done. I'm gonna go in my bubble and just not even think about him or if he's sitting there or if he was there or if no one even came. You know what I mean? That's why I was trying to tell myself. So now I'm in my third look and I feel like this is going by so freaking fast so this is awesome uh the last look I did it in the sun so I think I'm gonna switch it up and do it in the shade this time I also wish I could play some kind of music but obviously since I'm using my phone I don't think that's really possible so that sucks I might play around with the wide angle on the lens buddy app because if you just like do that with your fingers or this one I don't know you, if you pinch it in you know pinch it out it like zooms out and zooms in especially if you have like the newer phones with the wide angle lens the only thing is that if you use the wide angle it just like decreases the quality in half I feel like but if you're in good light sometimes you can't really tell so I might play around with that when I'm like in the direct sun again but for now we're gonna keep it simple I feel like a lot of these walls in the parking garage are gray and other people's parking garages are like painted white I'm just like where can I find that because <laughs> I want that so this is like the only white wall I see so we're gonna use it let's do it I'm so sad that this clip is blurry because it was my favorite outfit, but these photos I took were iconic. I'm gonna take a pause on filming because the sun is actually going down. I literally lost track of time and there's another photographer out here though. So it makes me feel not alone, <laughs> not as alone, I guess. As you can probably tell, I tried to switch up the background as much as possible. So I took it up to the upper deck and shot in front of the city this time. The other photographer and I actually ended up talking because he's a Sony user and I am too. So we got to talking, but then I was like, I gotta get in one more outfit before the sun goes down. So let's do this. My second biggest tip is to use props in any way that you can, whether that's bringing accessories, bags, sunglasses, anything like that, or just using the environment around you. As you can see, I propped my hand up on this wall and that made the pose a little bit more relaxed and not as awkward. Crash my freaking photo shoot. How'd you even know where I was? Why did you tell me where you were? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing this alone. You're cool, is it? They turned out really good, babe. You should be proud of me. Did you my hat kind of <sighs> Okay, well, I need to take this thumbnail real quick for this video. I'm gonna sit up here. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh. I freaking did it y'all. I took photos all by myself, alone, even though Ryan's here now. Didn't even know he was showing up, but that doesn't really count. I'll try to post a little slideshow of all the pictures and my preset on top of them because I'm gonna launch that soon, swear, by the end of the month, it'll be out. I highly recommend y'all do it too because like I said, it's first it's empowering, second, you get Instagram photos, especially if you are like an influencer blogger, just do it, you know? Just freaking do it. I'm definitely gonna do this a lot more often. Unfortunately, I didn't get to all the outfits. I think I did like five though, which is really good still. And if I do this once a week, that is a lot of freaking content. I would definitely wanna spread it out because I don't want like all of my grid to be like this parking garage, you know? But this content will be perfect for the in-between like everyday stuff. I will try to have all the outfits linked down below if you guys are interested and all of my equipment. I'll have like the tripod and then this phone stand thingy bob. Also, if you guys are wondering, I shoot with a 12 Pro Max and maybe next time I'll bring my camera out here, but I don't know, the iPhone was really great. And I also tried out flipping the camera and using flash for the sunset and that looks really cool. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and got inspiration for you to do a parking garage photo shoot or anywhere, honestly. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.